As soon as you launch Adobe Premiere CS 6.0, you will see a completely redesigned interface. The default workspace that you are seeing is called the 2UP workspace. This means that most of the screen's real estate is now taken over by the source window on the top left, which is where you will cut your video clips, and the monitor in the top right, which reflects what's in the timeline below. In the bottom right corner, you'll find the program panel. This is where you'll find and place all of the media that you'll be working with in your project. Each clip that appears in the program window will now appear as an interactive 16 by 9 thumbnail. When you move your mouse over a frame, you'll be able to hover scrub, which allows you to get a quick preview and idea of what the media is that you're working with. If you single click on a clip in the program window, you're able to move a mini playhead to see specific frames of each clip, as well as cut your clips inside this window using the letters I and O on your keyboard to set a range that you would like to use for this clip. Adobe Premiere Pro is all about customization for the editor. This can be best noted by customizing the edit button configurations in the source window for cutting and playing back your clips. In order to customize your edit buttons, simply click on the plus button in the bottom right corner of your source window. From here, you can drag and drop any of the buttons that you'll find helpful when you're navigating through an editing session. Another great addition to Adobe Premiere 6 is the Don't Stop Playback feature, which allows you to move around the interface or even outside of the program and still have the playback happen in order to keep the flow of the creative editing alive. For most editors coming to CS6 from other software of the past, this is a great feature.